about five years ago, I, I ended up with a pretty serious pneumonia and I had to get hospitalized. I was actually at a hospital that's very good. I had even I had worked there before as a doctor. Uh, but it was a completely different, foreign, humbling, scary experience. The parts that really opened my eyes and, and shifted my perspective a little bit were how hard it was to get the questions answered that I, that I needed answered, to talk to the people that were, that were making decisions about taking care of me, and, um, and as a result, to feel like I was getting the best care that, that I could. Our system is designed so much with the, the doctor and the hospital at the center, and, um, and it, it's so ingrained in all of the workflows and all of the culture um, that it's very difficult for us to, to, to deal with a relatively straightforward case where the patient wants to be more involved. We're just entering this era, I think, where patients are teaching doctors a lot. And that's both in terms of how to use certain tools, how to communicate in certain ways, um, but also how to understand things um, scientifically from a patient's perspective. And part of that is because patients have access to tools that they've never had before. The reality is that it's incredibly hard to be a doctor, and it's only getting harder. It's totally unrealistic for doctors to stay on top of everything. By far, the biggest untapped resource in healthcare is the patient. I think if we don't quickly get better at incorporating the, the broader perspective of the informed patient, if we don't take advantage of that, we're going to be practicing significantly worse quality medicine than we're capable of doing. I think I'm an impact junkie. I wasn't quite making as much of a difference as I thought that I, that I could um, seeing patients one-on-one. -on -one. I love uh, to be with patients and I still get to do that. This last generation of technologies that have such, such a social aspect to them, I think are going to um, give us the opportunity to, to solve really hard problems. For example, the ones that impact us most in health with both sort of the supercomputer mentality of digging through millions of documents in, in small numbers of seconds to, to find nuggets of scientific truth, but at the same time uh, layering on top of that the ability to connect millions of people and the brain power and, and wisdom that they have um, in, in a matter of seconds and have us be in a more sort of person-centered, technology-powered place and um, fully take advantage of these amazing tools that can help us do our jobs better and faster and impact more people. And I think the, you know, the next uh, decade or two of seeing how technology touches spaces like healthcare, I think are going to be uh, the most interesting in history. I wouldn't trade them for anything.